Hello everyone, in the last tutorials we have looked at what map is and in this one we will be doing multi maps. So before starting multi maps let me tell you something which I missed it. Uh, we can always print a map, we can always access it like this. This is something I missed. So uh, from A or say K will be this is a valid method of accessing so if you remember last time we accessed it like this we first wrote an iterator to find j and then printed out the value but we can do it like this as well this is much simpler way and now coming to multi maps so what you have to do is just change this and what multi maps is it can store duplicate values and maps cannot store duplicate key values and multi maps can store duplicate key values so that is the only difference which we have uh, uh, let's try to add some duplicacy so uh, after this Uh, let's add value 1000 to j and then again print uh, just a second and uh, we insert x and everywhere where we use map let's use multi map and that's it so uh, let's try to print all the values again This one will give an error. Yeah. So okay, looks fine. Uh, let's remove this one. So this was the previous one. Now here we start with the new one and if you look here j has two values and when we found value of j we got 106 so it just gives one value which is 106 if you want next value iterate increase the iterator by one and print it out so you'll get the other one so this is how it happens and again you cannot change the value and here Let's look at random access. And you cannot random access. This is because it get it gets confused with what value to print. So that's it for multi maps. It's really simple if you know maps. So uh, if you haven't done maps, please check out the previous video and uh, this is it. Thank you. Keep watching.